Hi Daily Dosers, this is Terry. Today is Tuesday, May 7th, 2013. And um, I met with, uh, my radiation oncologist was out of the office today, so I met with another one. I don't remember his name, it was a really long name, but he um, told me that uh, although I only have seven times left, seven radiation treatments left, it's only going to get worse from here, and the pain uh, will continue. I'll be done next Thursday will be my last treatment. He said Saturday or Sunday, I will swear that I am still getting radiated. <laughs> but within four days after that or so, I will slowly begin to heal. So that was his report today. And he was uh, going to put me on pain meds, but I'm already on pain meds, so that's it. Uh, the most positive thing in the last 24 hours, I have so much. Uh, my friend Shannon from church brought in dinner last night. It was marvelous, huge dinner. And uh, my mother-in-law, who is 93, she has always taught me through her stories. She never tells me what to do. She never tells me what she thinks is right or wrong. She always tells me stories. And last night she called and told me a story. And it was its very moving to me. That's how she has always taught me. I hope I am half the mother-in-law that she has been to me. I love her to pieces. And so her... Her message was to not give up with radiation, and as always, her message was perfect, on point, and perfectly timed. So thank you, Ruthie. And then, um, some of you know that Jim and I were, uh, for a short time, family teachers at Boys Town. We lived on campus in a beautiful home. We had eight boys assigned to our house. One was a senior. Um, well, he came to us actually as a junior, but he really wanted to be a senior. All the rest were freshmen, and then we had one eighth grader. Anyway, so the kid that came to us that thought he was supposed to be a senior, all he wanted to do was graduate from high school. That's all he wanted to do. And, of course, he was there, you know, because, uh, well, he, he was homeless at one point, but all he wanted was that high school diploma. And I talked to his academic counselors. There was no way he was going to graduate in May. There was just no way. The earliest he could be done was this coming December. Well, that just was not good enough for him. I said, you know, honey, I, there's nothing I can do. You're going to have to fight for this. If you want to double up courses, if you want to skip, if you want to test out of things, this is something you're going to have to fight for yourself. I can't. I can't do this for you. And yesterday... In the mail, we got his graduation invitation. I'm so proud of him. I, I cannot imagine what he has gone through to get through to graduation this May. But I'm going to have to have one foot in the grave not to go to this graduation. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. And I will cry through the whole thing. I'm just going to tell you right now. Okay. Just, oh, my heart is just busting with pride and thankfulness for this kid. And the letter he sent with the invitation was so moving. And just Jim and I are, were just busting, busting buttons over this kid. So very, very special last 24 hours. All righty. Thank you so much, Daily Dosers, for holding me accountable to having a positive attitude. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.